The Return of the Phoenix. The author has no financial interest in this presentation. Vision is our best interface with the outer world. But ocular diseases and accidents can cause significant loss of sight. Thousands of accidents are registered every year in emergency rooms around the world. The rehabilitation success depends on how deep the eye was involved. The best cases are those in which the injury is restricted to the cornea. Classical rigid gas permeable contact lenses play a major role in this process. The irregular surface allows a substantial gain of visual acuity. They are still considered by many the best option to recover good vision. However, wearers still abandon their use because of their instability and discomfort. On the other hand, soft contact lenses are very comfortable and stable but do not provide good visual acuity, so patients are left with no other choice but surgical intervention. Intrastromal ring segments have become an important option for rehabilitation in some cases, but its application is limited and unpredictable. Although surgical technique has been simplified by the use of femtosecond laser, unfortunately its use does not guarantee a good result. Transplant techniques are in constant evolution. New lamellar procedures allow lower rejection rates but depend on a steeper learning curve. Moreover, in most cases they exhibit suboptimal visual acuity even in a perfectly performed surgery. Femtosecond laser allows penetrating keratoplasty to have different side cuts but it does not eliminate the risk of irregularities. Such irregularities are a recurring problem in transplants regardless of the technique used. Corneal transplants are indicated in the impossibility of implantation of intrastromal rings or in their failure in achieving a reasonable visual performance. Unfortunately, the use of human tissue involves complex donation rules varying from country to country. Rehabilitation is usually slow after corneal transplantation. For many, only after one year a good eyesight can be achieved and they will still be dependent on contact lenses. Has every rehabilitation alternative for those cases been used? Contact lens fitting first began using scleral lenses in 1888, employing blowed glass without any adjustments for proper fitting. Even with the later use of PMMA, they were eventually replaced by corneal lenses due to hypoxia problems and fell into oblivion. Until now. Just like the Phoenix, scleral lenses arise strengthened from the ashes. Thanks to new modern materials of high air permeability, they are now multi curved and built in efficient electronic clamps. After being polished, they receive a plasma treatment 
which creates an incredibly hydrophilic surface that remains sediment-free for a long period. Scleral lenses combine the best of two worlds. They offer a vision comparable to those of rigid corneal lenses, as well as the stability and comfort provided by soft contact lenses. The good eyesight provided comes from the recreation of a perfect ocular surface. Unlike rigid corneal lenses, scleral lenses do not oscillate, thus allowing for a sight free from visual artifacts generated by movement. Its comfort comes from its absence of movement and its distance from the cornea, the most sensitive organ in the human body. The correct lens should copy the surface of the cornea and surrounding sclera. When lenses are too close, they may touch the area causing discomfort and irritation. When too distant, they may difficult the oxygenation and may cause an edema and also irritation. The diameter of the cornea is the starting point to choose the correct set of lenses. For bigger corneas, Sets with bigger diameters should be tested. The direct examination of the cornea profile helps in the choice of the sagittal height. Even the most extreme cases can make use of them with excellent stability without loss or discomfort. Lenses can be quickly placed on the eyes using the two finger technique and this may also be facilitated by the use of suction pads. Once the ideal sag is found, the border should also be evaluated. A perfect border must be parallel to the limbo without impingement. If necessary, the borders may be ordered heightened or flattened. In our personal experience, in over 300 eyes, we have obtained excellent results and very few problems. Since the beginning of its use, no important complication has arisen, tranquilizing us about its safety. It is an ongoing multidisciplinary work, but we can briefly advance some impressions from this study. Vision is our most important sense and must be protected. In order to recover vision, it is necessary great effort to acquire surgical abilities and the purchase of expensive modern equipment, but the solution can be a lot simpler. Modern scleral lens. Thank you.